channel. This is Laura. Today what we're going to be making is some lemon cheesecake bars. Something real nice and creamy and sweet that you can make for a nice Mother's Day treat. They're very simple to make. Not too many ingredients so it's not very expensive to make at all and I really do think you're going to enjoy the recipe. So if you like the content don't forget to leave us a thumbs up. Drop me a comment in the comment section that really helps us out here on the channel and if you have any questions about the recipe just leave it in the comment section below and I will get back with you. If you are new here welcome and I surely would appreciate it if you hit that subscribe button and turn on that notification bell so you can be notified every time I upload a video. If there is anything that you want me to try or a recipe that you want me to make, just go ahead and leave it in the comments below and I'll take a look and see what we can come up with. I would like to thank The Real Magazine for mentioning our channel. They did mention one of my videos on their magazine on the April edition. So I will leave a link to their magazine down in the description box. I am not being sponsored or paid for this. I just wanted to thank them for mentioning our channel on their magazine. Okay guys, let's go ahead and get started. Alrighty everybody, we are going to start this recipe by making the crumb for the bottom of this of these bars. I got an 8x8 uh, baking pan and I lined it with the parchment paper. Just cut it in so when it's time to pull them out, we can just pull them out with no problem. For the crust part of it, what I am using are these lemon wafer cookies. This is just my HEB brand. We pulse them in the food processor. We are going to take some uh, melted butter and pour it in here and then we're just going to give it a good mix and press it down on the baking pan. So this already gives it a, a layer of lemon flavor. I can already smell the cookies, the, the lemon scent. So this is going to be very lemony, very spring, summer. I think mom is going to love this if you're making this for her for Mother's Day. Very refreshing. And if you see little pieces like this, just break them up with your fingers. It's no big deal. Okay, then we just take our pan, pour all the crumb in there, okay, and then just spread it out. And just try to get it even. I take the back of a measuring cup just to push it down. Okay, so now it's all nice and pressed in there. We're going to set this to the side and we're going to get our ingredients ready for the mixer. Okay, now in our stand mixer, you can use the hand mixer if you prefer. We're going to put two bars of cream cheese, softened cream cheese, okay, and we're going to add our sugar. We're going to beat this until real nice and soft. Okay, everything is nice and soft. We're going to add in our extracts. There's the lemon extract and the vanilla extract. We are going to zest a lemon. This is going to give it a lot of lemon flavor. Now we have the lemon. I'm going to cut the lemon because we're going to use the juice as well. Okay, now we're just going to squeeze the lemon juice. I already took most of the seeds out so there's no seeds in there. If there is, just catch it and get them out. Alright, then we're just going to scrape everything down off the bowl and we're going to mix this and start adding our eggs one at a time. Just make sure everything is off the bottom. Okay, bring it up, start the mixer. Okay, we're going to take it down and check the bottom one more time. pour it on top of the crust. Okay, now we're just going to put our pour our filling on the crust and I have the oven preheating to 350 degrees. Okay, then we're 
we're just going to spread it around. Okay, and there we go. I'm going to pop it in the oven for about 35-40 minutes just till the center is set. And I'll be back to show you the finished product. Alright everyone, the bars are out of the oven. And as you can see, it's not jiggly anymore. It was in there for 35 minutes. And we're going to let it set. If you touch it, it's firm to the touch. We're going to let it cool off completely before we pull it out and slice it. I am going to let it sit in the pan for about 10 minutes then I'm just going to run a knife on the sides and pull it out and let it cool on the cooling rack until it's completely cool and we're able to slice it. Okay everybody it's time to cut this up. Now you decide whatever size you want. What I do is I take a knife cut it right down the center show y'all this one look at that how sweet is that okay now we're just gonna give them a little dusting of some powdered sugar on top okay now we're just gonna give them a little dusting of powdered sugar okay, and that's it and put them on your serving platter okay guys here it's all cut. Here is how I present it. And look at that. Don't those look delicious? Can you imagine serving this to mom? Breakfast in bed with just one of these cheesecake lemon bars. They would be delicious. She would love it. All right, let's give these a taste. Okay, guys, this is how I would serve it up. Maybe just one at a time. If you want to put a little bit of whipped cream on top, that would go delicious. Or you can just set these out on the table just like this on a nice little platter. And they would be scrunches. Okay, let's give it a taste. Enough yakking. Mmm. Mmm. Nice and creamy. Not too sweet. You can definitely taste the lemon. Not, not too tart though. Mmm-hmm. Very, very good. Okay, they are not as dense as regular cheesecake. And it's not too sour, not too strong on the lemon. Very, very good guys. I really think you're going to enjoy this recipe. Okay, that's going to conclude the video for today. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget that thumbs up and leave a comment. That really helps me out. All right, I'll talk to you all later, guys. Bye.